Introducing the brand new Price Chopper Rewards. Packed with new ways to save and new ways to spend your savings. Watch your savings add up every time you shop. Whether you spend a little or a whole lot. Just check your Price Chopper app to see the offers we have for you this week. Then choose to spend them at checkout or at the pump. Download the Price Chopper app now and start saving today. Weinrich's field goal is good. for your program here tonight uh, you, you talked after the game with the, with the with the team just how proud you were that they uh, had a complete performance uh, what made it complete you know just um, I, I feel like we we played well in all three phases of the game uh, and not just not just fantastic plays but executing a game plan in all three areas of the game and that doesn't happen if you don't prepare uh, and we, we prepared we had a great week of preparation these kids are are, uh, are, are very good at practicing and, uh, and getting better and they take it very seriously yeah and then obviously uh, a little bit of revenge here from your week one loss uh, but do you view this kind of more as you guys are just a much different football team this time of year yeah you know we didn't talk about we didn't talk about revenge this week that's uh, that wasn't on our minds we're a different football team than we were week one and we wanted to show how much we've improved it didn't matter who the opponent was uh, we have a ton of respect for this program and and the strides they've made in their program um, and, and and their players it's it's funny in Blue Valley because all the kids know each other and they're so friendly um, there's not a lot of hatred between these two programs it's just respect but it was a good chance to show our improvement and, and how hard these kids have worked what do you have to say about your defense tonight, Coach? I mean, they seem to to really bring it. Uh, what was so special about what they did here tonight? Uh, well, they, they took it really, really personal. Um, the uh, the loss last time and, and what happened with the uh, with the point score. They don't want to give up any, and uh, they they prepared like it all week. Matter of fact, we uh, we cut our game plan in half. And uh, we just said we're going we're gonna to try and beat them in base. And uh, we, we, we were very vanilla on defense, and our kids played so fast. And uh, I think it showed up tonight. Interesting. Obviously, you know, you got to contain Mikey Polly, somebody that can really do it um, with his legs and his arm. Um, you know, and you guys had a few sacks tonight, so you definitely brought the pressure at times when you needed to. Um, just how, I mean, 
how, exactly how do you do that? You mentioned you you uh, cut the game plan in half, but yeah, we, how, we, what do you we do? We learned to play fast. We didn't send a lot of pressure. We we, we, we based out of a three man front probably ninety percent of the time, and our front three guys got after it. Um, we we pick, picked and chose our our moments to to send an extra guy or two, and in order to get a sack, somebody's got to be covering at the back end, and our kids do that really well. So well, we, we spend a lot of time on making sure we stay capped on receivers and not giving up vertical routes. Moving on to the state quarters, uh, what's it like to be able to to say that with this group of kids, and what makes this group so special? Uh, well, one, they are they are as high a character a group as I've been around. They're, they are so uh, fun and. Um, they, 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 they don't take themselves too seriously. We have a lot of fun. We enjoy each other. Um, it's, uh, we expected to be here, though. When bad things happened, when people left our program, when COVID hit, our kids still, this still continued to be the expectation. We've talked about being in this next game and beyond since day one, and we'll talk about that in, in 20 years if I'm still here when we discuss uh, what our goals are for the season in Blue Valley. We're, we're going to try and win a state title, and that's our, that's our expectation. So we expected to be in this game, and the kids play and prepared like it. And then you got to play Olathe North. You know, a tough, tough quarterfinal uh, matchup for you guys. What do you guys have to do to take care of business and continue this uh, march? Well, they're just—it's Olathe North. They're a tradition-rich program, just like we are, and it's—it's uh, uh, it's an opportunity to prepare another week and, and do what we do. Um, if we play, as, if we prepare and play like we like we are capable of, who knows how far we can go? Awesome. Thanks for your time, Coach. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank all right, guys. Congrats on the big win. Uh, just uh, first off, kind of talk about what what this uh, what this victory means for your team this year and for the program in general. Uh, this win means a lot because we went to work this week, and it meant a lot because we lost in the first game. And it was our first game, so we came back stronger than ever, and we were missing a few people. All right, we came back, smacked in the mouth. It was a little stinging loss with win the, uh, to them the first time. But I'm glad we punched them in the mouth and got it. I'm so proud. Yeah, let's get to the point. Your defense was on point tonight. Uh, what, what was clicking for you guys? What made you guys so successful? Just uh, constant reps, constant reps at practice. Just tackle number 10, tackle number 10, get him on the ground, then we won the football game there. I'd like to thank Coach Taylor and the whole defense, get my back, and I just want to thank everybody to the bottom of my heart. Yeah, and what, and what, uh, what was it like to uh, try to contain Polly? Obviously, you guys had seen him before in week yeah. one. Uh, what did you see in that offense, and how did you contain him, and he, how he can play? Yeah, play? Polly's a shifty dude. He's a real, he's a good athlete. But I know me and my team, we got to contain him, held him down. And that's why the score, you know, only the seven. Yeah. So, you know, that's why I'm just really glad. I'm really glad we held him down. And then offensively, you get a couple touchdowns early. Uh, you guys move the sticks throughout the game to, to keep that clock moving. Uh, what was it like to run the offense here in a big in a big game? Uh, I mean, we worked really hard. We worked really hard. I like to thank my offensive line. They put in the work. Mm -hmm. They put in the constant reps. Mm -hmm. And that, they, they basically lead our run game. Mm -hmm. And then just kind of perspective here, getting into the state quarterfinals, uh, just everything that you guys have gone through this year, you know, replacing some guys. And, and moving forward, uh, what's it like to, to get the get to the stage? Man, it's a real blessing. Just like because uh, last year I was like the junior, so like I was like kind of the underdog. But now this year I'm glad to be on the front line, do what I love with my friends. I'm glad we just keep going up. That's all we're doing. Keep going up. Yep. That's where we're going. And then of course under center this year, uh, running this offense, trying doing your best to to improve it each week, and it seems like you've done that. So what's it feel like to to get Blue Valley to a state quarterfinal game? It was really good because the coaches and my teammates have had my back the whole way through it, and they've been supporting me, and they they know what I can do. So it feels really nice. And how does that how does that trophy feel? You guys beat a you know an in in town rival. Um, it felt really good. <laughs> just like those are some good football players down there, but we showed, we showed out. We were the better team. At the end of the day, I just I got the dough with my friends. I'm really happy. All right, Coach. Uh, just kind of your overall thoughts here on um, how this this one shaked down with uh, Blue Valley. Obviously, saw them week one. Uh, what was different about this time around? Do you think? I, you know, I, I I didn't do a good job getting us in a rhythm offensively. I mean, they obviously are very well coached on the defensive side of the ball and and, and try to take things away over the top and and so. Um, and they're, they've got really good players, and, and they just kind of got us out of rhythm. But you know, we we had some drives where we were moving the ball at times, and, and just couldn't capitalize. Uh, you know, once we crossed the 50, and uh, but defensively, they, they kept us in it uh, and gave us some chances there in the second half. And, and uh, you know, it doesn't take away from the season our guys have had for sure. Yeah. But uh, you know, they were they, they played a really good game tonight and had a great game. Tonight. Yeah, and, and uh, kind of looking back here at the year, I know you guys wanted to extend it, but um, what, what is this year? What can this year do for a program like you guys and where you're at? Well, I mean, I think it just shows that we we, we don't have to to reside in the traditions of where we've been recently, you know, in our program, and we've turned the corner and and uh, we bring 
10 starters back on offense and seven on defense, you know, and so we've got a, a, a good group of sophomores and a freshman group that's pretty good. And so we're, we're we turn the corner, um, you know, we won a playoff game for the first time in, in a decade. Um, we had our first winning season since I think 2013. Uh, so it's, it's, a, it's a step in the right direction. Yeah, we would have liked to have had this one, but uh, Still super proud of what our guys and what our seniors have done to, to impact the program going forward. Yeah, definitely. And the seniors, of course, you know, uh, a good group. You know, we've talked about them before. Uh, what do they leave here and what have you kind of told some of them as they as they kind of deal with this exit? They're, they're winners. I mean, they, they go out winners and, and they can always talk about the things that they've accomplished. And um, the, when they tell stories, whenever whenever these, these younger guys are going off and winning big playoff games, then they can tell the stories about how they, they were the first ones to bust down the door. And, you know, I've been in programs and as a player when you turn it around and I think that's that's something really special that you can talk about for a long period of time and take pride in. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to mention here? No, just really proud of our kids this year and, and battle a lot of things with with COVID and, and all the, the conditions that it took, it stayed positive. And um, you know, you know, Coach Terrell and I were you know, talked a lot during the time off, and, and we were able to. You know, we just talked about how this was pretty fun to meet up at this point, and uh, you know, and, and my staff did an incredible job this year, and, and thankful for everything that they that they did getting our kids prepared.